The combination of razor thin trade resulting from the US holiday and news of the new COVID variant was not a pretty combination for financial markets on Friday, but already into Monday, we're seeing the extent of the overreaction and the thin conditions as demand for risk appetite returns. Still, we're not too sure how optimistic we should be about expecting a full-on recovery. The new variant does have the potential to disrupt the global economy, and we've already seen instances of new measures and shutdowns that could be a big headache for the global economy if this becomes a bigger deal. All of this comes at a time when markets are heading into the holiday season, something that should make investors that much more nervous about the outlook. All of this also comes at a time when the Federal Reserve is moving closer towards getting on that path of monetary policy normalization, something that is yet another hiccup for investors. And of course, we can't forget about supply chain disruptions and rising inflation. So while things are trying to get back on track as the week gets going, we would classify the recovery as more of a correction at this point and would prefer to see where the dust settles later today. Key standouts on today's calendar include speeches from ECB's Guindos and Enria, UK net lending and consumer credit, Eurozone sentiment and confidence, German inflation, the Canada current account and producer prices, speeches from Treasury Secretary Yellen and ECB President Lagarde, and U.S. reads in the form of pending home sales in Dallas Fed manufacturing. That's all for now.